Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawtonen from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to take a look at cropping in Lightroom and Photoshop, but first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on our website. My good friend Susie Harrison recently sent me this photo, and you'll definitely want to check out Susie's work. You can find her at Photography by Susie. I'll post a link below. And if we take a look at the before image and then the after image, you'll notice that it was a really clean shot right out of the camera. In fact, all I did was apply Susie's favorite preset to this image. And by the way, her presets are available on the Flourish Academy website. But what concerned me about this image is the lack of margin in the bottom part of the photograph. And that can be a problem if the client decides to order a gallery wrap. Let's jump over to MPix and take a look at what the potential problems can be. And in this case, the way that the gallery wrap works, the consequences are devastating. <laughs> Poor Sophia has lost the bottom half of her body. So obviously this is not going to work. But unfortunately in Lightroom, there's no way to extend a canvas. So we're going to need to jump into Photoshop in order to fix this problem. Let's begin by pressing C on the keyboard in order to select the crop tool. Now I want you to be careful when using this tool because if you place your cursor in any corner and you click and drag, what can happen is you change the aspect ratio and it would just not be a good idea to change the crop this much unless you were ordering a bookmark, I imagine, but that's not the case. I'm going to press escape in order to cancel that. When you crop inside of Photoshop, you will want to hold down the shift key in order to constrain the proportions. Now in this case, rather than cropping in, what we want to do is extend because we want to add canvas to this photo. So I'm just holding down shift, clicking and dragging, then I'm placing my cursor inside of the image and just kind of positioning it how I would like. Now before I press enter or return to commit this change, I'm going to make sure that content aware is selected. And when I do that, Photoshop will generate additional canvas area and there you go, it looks fantastic. Now that was almost too easy. Let's take a look at the before and after. Now I noticed there's a little bit of integrity issue up here in the upper right, that's an easy fix, but I also wanna show you what can happen when things go really wrong. So I'm going to undo that and again, access my crop tool and this time holding down shift, clicking and dragging, I'm gonna add a lot of canvas space and I'm gonna place this image in the center and then making sure that content aware is selected. I'm going to press enter or return to commit that change and wait for Photoshop to generate the result. And there you have it. We have a little bit of mirroring happening at the bottom of this photo. I'm going to press command or control plus to zoom in spacebar in order to access my pan tool. And you can see what I'm talking about right here. Now, when this happens, the way I approach this is pretty straightforward. I would just press command or control J on my keyboard in order to duplicate the background. I would grab my clone stamp tool with an S on the keyboard. Then what I'm going to do is hold down alt or option and click to define a source and just kind of start brushing over this area in order to remove any artifacts that I did not wish to appear in this canvas. Let's zoom out with a command or control minus and look at the before and after. And because I am incredibly picky about detail, I can't leave it like that. I see some variations in the luminosity. So in order to kind of smooth that out, sometimes I will use the brush tool by pressing B on the keyboard and I will drop down the opacity of the brush tool. I don't know, anywhere between 30 and 50 maybe. Then press Alt or Option and click in order to choose a color in this area. And then what you can do is just start brushing over those areas and it just kind of blends in any of those lights and darks that you see from um, some sloppy clone stamping is really what that was. So now if we look at the overall before and after, that looks much better. Well, 
with the exception of some issues up here. Again, it could be the clone stamp tool, maybe even some masking. That's pretty straightforward. I hope that you found this useful. The point was you can extend a canvas inside of Photoshop very quickly and easily. In the next video, we'll take a look at using this tool on an outdoor image. I'll see you then.